Joining us now is Nelson Diaz. He is the chair of the Miami-Dade Republican Party. Nelson, thank you for joining us. Good it's afternoon. Perhaps no coincidence that the Biden campaign uh, sent President Obama to Miami-Dade. It's so important. How confident, how uh, well do you think President Trump will do in Miami-Dade? I think, uh, you know, even with the numbers that we're seeing today right now, I think Miami-Dade is doing very well. Um, it's certainly a blue county, but, uh, but we are keeping pace with the Democrats up to now. We've seen the energy for Joe Biden to be very, very low. Uh, to wit, we have to have uh, Obama come down and campaign for Joe Biden. You know, the president comes down and campaigns for himself. And he did a rally with 15,000 people showed up. And um, Joe Biden couldn't get 15 people to show up. So he had to send Barack Obama. Now, this election has been called a referendum on the path President Trump has taken this country. But if 50 percent of likely Florida voters disapprove of the job the president is doing, according to one new poll, why will voters actually turn out for him? Well, because a lot of those polls include or don't include a lot of people who what we would call the silent majority. A lot of people are shy about telling um, a, a random stranger on the phone how they feel about some about the president or who they're going to vote for. And I think those polls are just terribly inaccurate. It's very difficult to poll these days. And so we saw it in the last election where Hillary was supposed to have a landslide election. CNN predicted a landslide election for Hillary. And it was quite the opposite, quite the reverse, actually. And so I, I just think those polls are very de deceptive. Nelson, you mentioned the enthusiasm for President Trump. I want to ask you about that event Sunday night. Thousands of people there at Opelika Airport, uh, close to each other, not social distancing, very few people wearing masks. It was in violation of the county curfew. Uh, what sort of message do you think the president is sending by having an event like that? And is it the message that should be sent in light of uh, what we're dealing with? I think, look, this is America. We have uh, civil liberties. I think everyone everyone certainly was offered a mask. If they didn't bring one, we, they were asked to bring a mask. But if they so chose not to wear a mask, that's their choice. Um, it, was an, it was a wonderful event. I think the, the, you know, the president has an obligation to get out there and, and spread his message and let people decide. And it was OK to violate the curfew? Well, I think it went over by a little bit. His plane arrived here a little bit later, went over by a very short amount of time. Um, you know, it was it was the de minimis uh, difference. Okay, Nelson Diaz from the uh, Miami-Dade Republican Party. Thank you very much, Nelson. Thank you.